Hello, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.2 in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. Example 3.2 is about calculating deflection and stress on a plate made of orthotropic material. A pressure load is acting towards the surface of the plate. Since the axes of orthotropy of the material are aligned with the edges of the plate, and the load and boundary conditions are symmetric with respect to a Cartesian coordinate system, it is possible to model only one quarter of the structure, by using symmetry boundary conditions. First, we change the work directory, so that the abacus files are organized into folders corresponding to examples in the textbook. To create the part, we select 3D deformable, shell, planar. The approximate size, is used to create a grid, large enough to accommodate the dimensions that you plan to use for the part. In the sketcher, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. When you are done, click the red X, to exit the add utility, and done to create the part. In module property, the material properties can be entered as orthotropic, 9 values, or engineering constants, also 9 values, or lamina, 6 values. In this example we use an orthotropic material, so 9 values are required to populate the stiffness matrix. Abacus uses initial notation with 4 subscripts, but it is easier to use 2 subscripts, using contracted notation, as explained in the textbook. The coefficients of the stiffness matrix can be calculated using kadek-online.com, starting with the properties of the lamina. The values are in the textbook. Next, we create a section, category shell, type homogeneous, because we have only one lamina, and we provide the thickness of the shell. Note that a mesh made with shell elements, has no thickness. Instead, the thickness is provided as a section property. This is a striking difference with so-called, solid elements, that get the thickness from the mesh itself. It is time now to assign the section to the part. Even though we have only one part, we must still assemble our only part into a model. As usual, we need a step. In module load, we start with the boundary conditions, on the initial step. We have two symmetry boundary conditions on the edges that represent the center lines of the plate, and a simple support, U3, on the outer edges of the plate, to prevent transverse displacement there.
Next, the load itself, on step 1. The load is a pressure load, acting towards the top face, brown color, of the plate. The magnitude is 0.1210 to the minus 3 MPa. Next, the mesh. We make it easy by assigning a global seed. Notice that you can try different seed values, until you are satisfied, and finally click OK. In controls, we like quad elements, and a structured mesh, if the geometry lets us use that strategy. Then, we mesh the instance, not the part, because we selected independent, in the assembly. As usual, we need a job. Save yourself some time, don't do the data check, and jump directly to submit. Results Selecting plot, contours, on deformed shape, Abacus is going to show you von Mises stress on a deformed shape, but von Mises stress has no meaning for an orthotropic material. The derivation of von Mises stress assumes that the material is isotropic. To evaluate failure, you need a failure criterion for composites. More about that later. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.